Today's video is all about my favorite top five ground beef recipes. Hey y'all, I'm Sammy and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be sharing my top five ground beef recipes so far of 2024. So sit back and relax, grab you some sweet tea, and let me do all the cooking. Come on y'all, let's go. All right, y'all, we are starting this one out with a bang with some crack burgers. Y'all, these are so addictive, but absolutely delicious. Perfect for summer evening for supper. So starting out, I've got two pounds of ground beef in my bowl. I'm going to take two cups of shredded cheddar cheese along with one cup of sour cream and one package of the um, dry Hidden Valley Ranch or as you can see in my case, I use the Great Value Ranch seasoning and then one whole container um, I think it's 2.5 ounces of the real bacon pieces. Then you dump all that cheese in there. And now we're going to season it up with some, y'all guessed it, Badia Complete. <laughs> some garlic powder and onion powder. And also some salt and pepper. Just a little bit of salt because you've got the bacon and the cheese in there that's got the salt in it. We're also going to throw in a little bit of this adobo seasoning. And we're going to use the best tool that God ever gave you, which is our hands. But trust me, you don't want to over mix this because you don't want them burger patties to be tough. Then I just put them into about a quarter pound patty each. And Always make sure you put your dimple in the middle of your patty right there. Just helps with it shrinking too much and it actually does keep the toppings on the burger better. So now we'll just put them into a large skillet and cook them until they are nice and golden brown on both sides, which typically takes about five to six minutes on each side. If you like your burgers a little bit medium, just cook them less. But as you can see here, when I'm flipping them, you can see that nice and golden brown color. And that is exactly what you want. Say hi to Peppy. He's peeping out the corner. <laughs> but now that I got all of those burgers browned up, we're just going to go ahead and serve them however you want. I just put a little bit of mayonnaise, lettuce, and tomato on mine. Gosh, y'all, these are the best. And I served them up with a side of tots. Can't go wrong with that. Next up of my top five are these stuffed peppers. And let me tell y'all something, they are absolutely amazing. So, so good. And you can even make these in a crock pot instead of putting them in your oven. So I thought I'd throw that out there a little bit. So into our skillet, I've got one pound of lean ground beef. We're gonna season that up with some Badia Complete and some chili powder, about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of each along with some black pepper and some salt. Those were each about a teaspoon as well. Now you could always cut down the salt if you needed to, but I just gave that a little bit of a mix through, poured in about a half a cup, uh, well, a quarter of a cup of chopped onions and about two tablespoons of minced garlic. We'll give that a nice stir together. Now we're gonna add in eight ounces of tomato sauce. If you have home canned or any other kind that you like, please feel free to dump that in there, along with two cups of cooked um, I did use the instant rice on this just so I could get it done faster, but two cups of the white instant rice cooked. Then while that was sitting there simmering, I went ahead and cut and deseeded all of my peppers. I just cut them in half. Um, that way they would lay flat. I'm going to fill every one of these up to the top, all the way up to the top, and then we're just going to top them with some cheese. Now, if you don't like your peppers to have a crunch on them, go ahead and put them in the oven and let them cook a little bit first and then put them into a 350 degree oven. Once you have the cheese on them, cook these for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then you can put it on broil and let that cheese get nice and golden brown and delicious. Y'all must give this one a try. So good. Now we're rolling right along with a smash burger tater skillet. Y'all know this one is the absolute favorite of the house because my boys tore this one up. <laughs> so starting out, I cut up three large russet potatoes just into some cubes. Season that with some paprika, garlic, un well, let's see, garlic and onion powder and some pepper. Put that in some olive oil, toss that and cook it at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Then into a skillet, I took two pounds of lean ground beef and literally smashed it into the bottom right there. Coated that with some 
coated, sprinkled, y'all know me, with some salt and pepper. And then we're going to take this Kinder's Caramelized Onion Butter, which is the star of the show, y'all. If y'all have never tried it, definitely give it a try. So I season that very liberally with some of that caramelized onion butter. Let that get a good sear on the back side. And that took about 10 minutes. And then I tried to honestly flip it at once. That didn't work. So that's why I cut it into quarters. And then I let it do the same thing on the other side. Just got that a good sear. And then I took my little meat chopper right here and just cut right into it, leaving the chunks really big. Now, by all means, if you want to just keep it easy, just brown up your burger. It'll be just fine. But I do like the flavor that you get when you get that caramelization on the meat. Then I took our potatoes that we had already cooked, dumped those right in there, gave it a good old mix through, and simple peasy, um, cheesy squeezy on here, dumped two cups of shredded cheddar cheese on the top, popped it into the broiler for about four to five minutes, and supper was ready, y'all. This was so good. And I just drizzled a little bit of burger sauce on there with his just mayonnaise, ketchup, a little bit of mustard, and some sweet relish, mix it together so good on this. So I did top it with that and a little bit of sesame seeds for some crunch because, you know, burgers, sesame seeds, buns, it goes great together. But this was absolutely amazing. Moving right along into another one of our favorites, that's why it's in the top five, is the Korean beef and rice. You cannot go wrong with this one. And plus, if you don't want to keep the rice separate, go ahead and boil it and just dump that right on into your Korean beef. It'll work just fine. I have two pounds of ground beef that I just um, flavored with a little bit of salt and pepper. And I went ahead and smashed that all up and got it nice and brown. Now we're going to add in about two tablespoons of garlic because y'all know I like to keep the vampires away. <laughs> A quarter cup of light brown sugar goes into that pan along with a quarter cup of soy sauce. Now, if you wanted to double this, please feel free to do so. I have the original recipes always linked in my description box below. But once you have everything in there, you'll give that a good stir together before you put in your two teaspoons of toasted sesame oil. This is so important in this because it makes it. And then we also added in two teaspoons of ground ginger paste. Um, if you have fresh ginger, you could do that, but the ground ginger just blends so much better in this. Then we'll let it simmer, and once it's simmered for about five minutes, I decided to add about a tablespoon of butter to it, just because, you know, butter makes everything better, just kind of like more cheese, mo better, mo cheese, mo better. <laughs> so here I am serving it over top of that rice with some green onions and sesame seeds, along with some steamed broccoli, and y'all, this was so, so good and so filling. Definitely give it a try. And now we're gonna make probably the number one taco dish ever, which is the taco helper skillet. It's homemade um, taco hamburger helper, basically. Into our skillet, we have one pound of ground beef with one medium diced up onions. We're gonna season it up with some Kinder's all purpose. So good. And there's that caramelized onion butter again. Definitely try those two if you don't have it. And of course, y'all, I gotta go back to my original Badia Complete along with some salt and pepper. This is all seasoned to taste, but like I said, I will have the original recipe linked down below. But typically, it's about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of each. Once you have that browned, you will dump in one entire package of mild taco seasoning, then about two tablespoons of garlic or less, however much or however little you want, one undrained can of mild rotel, a cup and a half of milk, and then one and a half cups of beef broth. Then you'll add in two cups of the spiral um, noodles or whatever pasta you wanted to use, but I do love the rotini noodles and penne would also be good in this. You'll let that come to a simmer. Once it's simmering, you'll put that lid on for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then you will see that almost all of that liquid has gone out of the skillet. We're gonna come in with about a half a cup of cream to about mm, a three quarters of a cup. Then we'll add in two cups of shredded cheddar, or if you have a taco cheese, please feel free to add that in as well. I just had cheddar on hand and it worked brilliantly. You'll give that a good old stir until it is nice and creamy and just like this. And y'all, oh, 
to serve it up. Just put some cheese on there with some sour cream, some taco sauce, some maybe some fresh cilantro. You could even do crushed up Doritos on top of this to give it a little bit of crunch. It is mouth-watering, let me tell you. It is so good and it's deliciousness on a plate. Now, the real reason you're here, let's get right on in to these bloopers, shall we? Not too many this week. One try, baby, one try. Whoop, 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 whoop. I was relaxed, I did it, but I have to give y'all something to watch at the end of the video. I'm <laughs> just thinking, ah, oh, pat on the back, Sammy, pat on the back. Y'all have a blessed day, y'all. Love ya. If you like today, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> All right, y'all. That is it for today's video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big old thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and hit that or smash it, mash it, whatever you want to call it. Red subscribe button and become part of my YouTube family. If you are in need of prayer, please let me know down below and I would be honored to pray for you all. And if you need some other meal ideas, check out these other two videos on your screen right now. Until next time, God bless.